Hello traders, welcome to our channel, Bonex Investment Group. In our today's topic, we are going to talk about a very high probability entry point which requires us location of anchors. Without further ado, let's actually jump into our content. So the first thing is actually to originate where a point where there is a 5200 EMA cross. That is basically a reversal point that is usually issued by market makers. In this particular case, we can see the market was going to the upside, chopped for a long time, and after that chop, we had a 200 in white and a 50 EMA in blue. So for the sake of those who do not know or who have just started following our channel, we use an array of indicators which are exponentials. These are 5 in yellow, 13 in red, 50 in blue, 200 in white, and 800 in dark blue. So all these indicators actually works or have different purposes on each and every entry technique. In this particular case, we are looking to see the market give us a reversal point which we call a peak formation high. From that peak formation high, we need to see three days of drop from that peak formation, which consists of a 5200 EMA cross. From this point, we can see a drop one day, two days, three days. We are not looking to get any entry at these reversals. These reversals are of low quality and usually market makers use them to trap traders. What we are interested in is what we call the resets. So resets are basically market pullbacks to the 50 or 800 EMA and create an M pattern. In this particular case, they came back, first leg was issued, then second leg was issued. From there, we had a 50 in blue and a 13 in red crossing over, right? Our entry point is going to be a retest of the 50 EMA at this particular point. To repeat or summarize everything that I've said, we need to see a peak formation high or peak formation low, which has a 50, 200 EMA cross, then three days of drop in this particular case. And then after those three days of drop, we now have a completed cycle. That completed cycle will need us to get a reset, which is basically an M or W depending on market context on the 200 or the 800 EMA. We had first leg and then the second leg like that. After that, we can see the market giving us the first day of drop, then pulling back to the 50 EMA, which is this one, right? So in this case, we can as well see that there was now one day of drop, two days of drop, and then three days of drop. The next thing is now to see an M pattern as a reset point on the, on the 200 EMA. We had move to the upside, pull back, move to the upside again, making this structure the first leg and then the second leg, 13 crossing 50, and then the market came back to retest, to retest the 50 EMA at this particular point. And then the market went back down. If we can look again as well, we can see that from that point, we had one day of drop, two days of drop, three days of drop. We had a reversal, then creation of an M pattern, first leg, second leg, 13 crossing 50, and then the market retested the 50. At this point, it was an entry point. So let's have more examples so that it may stick in your mind and you'll be able to apply it in your own trading right? After that, we had one day, two days of drop, meaning this was not a completed cycle. We have said we require a completed cycle for us to look for a proper reset, which is a W or an M on the 200 EMA. From that point, we had another point where we saw one, two, and three days of rise to the upside. In this particular case, we can see there was a 50, 200 EMA cross, meaning this had, up, uh, with this had satisfied all the rules that we require. After that, we had a W pattern on the 200 EMA, and after a W pattern, it's game over because we know that as long as the 13 crossing 50, we can get an entry at the retest of 50, which is what happened at this particular point. After that, we can see that we now had 
one day of rice, two days of rice, and then it was four days of rice in the same direction, which is not anything that can bother us. What we need is a completed cycle, which completes from three to five days. After that, we need to see the market come back to the 200 EMA, give us a W pattern. In this case, we had first leg, then second leg, which was a pin to the downside, 13 crossing 50, and our entry was going to be at the retest of the 50 EMA, which is this one, basically like that. So in summary of everything that we've talked about, we've said the first step is to locate an anchor or to locate a peak formation high peak formation low. The next step is now to see a 250 EMA cross with three days of rise to five days of rise. After that, we now need to see a W pattern on the, on the 200 EMA. And then from that W pattern, we need to see a retest of the 50 EMA. All this is seen on the H1 time frame. And if you do so, you, you have a higher probability of winning and winning more trades. On that note, we come to the end of this video. Do not hesitate to ask any questions in our comment section. See you on the next one.